Welcome, lovely language learners out there, and thank you so much for joining us again in the Class Clown series. CCS. Where, CCS, where we learn about so many things, but in this season, provinces and territories in Canada. Behind the camera, we have Sina, the producer. Hello. And in the front, we got Sarah, the host. Next wonderful fact is, most of the information we provide to you, if not all, is sourced from Canada.ca, which is .ca, a wonderful website where you can find out more information about Canada if you plan to immigrate or visit this wonderful, beautiful country of ours. They also have a free PDF study guide for you to learn more about Canada and its wonderful systems. The province for today is a Manitoba. All right. Manitoba, what you got for us? Let's see, hello. Manitoba's economy, let's talk about that. It's based on agriculture, mining, and hydroelectric power generation. The province's most populous city is Winnipeg, which happens to be the capital, whose exchange district includes the most famous street intersection in Canada, Portage and Main. So if you're there, check out that intersection. It must be quite interesting. Mm -hmm. And Winnipeg's French Quarter, St. Boniface, has Western Canada's largest francophone community at how many? 45,000 humans. <laughs> Manitoba is also an important center of Ukrainian culture. Huh. Who knew? Uh. With 14% reporting Ukrainian origins and the largest Aboriginal population of any province at over 15%. Wow. Wow. What is the first thing you think of when you hear Manitoba? For me, it's polar bears. Mm-hmm. Hey, up. It's polar bears because I hear you can see polar bears out in the wild. Mm -hmm. Now, what other part of the world can you do that? Not many. Not many. Mm-hmm. But in Manitoba, <laughs> you can see polar bears in the wild. This is the most central province in Canada. For those out there thinking of moving or visiting this province, for an extended period of time, or for forever, it is in your best interest to know that Manitoba has a very strong economy and is steadily growing in job opportunities. Hmm. Maybe I want to move there. <laughs> I don't know. Sounding good. And now a linguistic fact for you. Yes, please. Over 200 languages are spoken there. Unbelievable. Wow, we wah. Wow. Also, <laughs> Winnipeg. Do you remember one special fact about Winnipeg? It is the capital of the province. Don't forget. Mm -mm. Also, another a cute little fact. Oh, this is fun. Is this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. Do you know Winnie the Pooh? I do. His name is actually connected to this province. Time to share an anecdote. There's a Canadian connection to the honey-loving character brought to life by A.A. A. Milne. Winnie the Pooh was based on a real-life bear who lived in the London Zoo, and he got there thanks to a Canadian soldier and veterinarian named Harry Colburn. There's more. It all started in White River, Ontario, another province that we covered in this season. Mm -hmm. Harry was at a train station where he bought a little bear cub. He named the cub Winnipeg Bear, after the town he grew up in, and that's where the name Winnie comes from in Winnie the Pooh. Adorable. Adorbs. All right, guys, so that's what we got on Manitoba. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions or comments, of course, we'd love to hear from you. All right, guys, thanks for joining us. 
Have a wonderful day and see you again another time. Happy learning, guys. Happy learning. See you soon. See ya.